Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and I am back with another tutorial. And today, we are going to be getting Netflix to work on our Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So you might know that the Raspberry Pi cannot play Netflix by default. That's because it doesn't have the necessary plugins for Chromium to do so. Now a lot of people ported the plugins from the Chromebooks and ported them over to the Raspberry Pi to get it work with success, but it wasn't reliable and sometimes it would work and wouldn't work, stuff like that. Now a user on GitHub by the name of Krusty8 was able to compile your own plugin for the Chromium browser. So that's the method we're going to be using today. Alright guys, so assuming that you have the latest version of Raspbian, and also all its updates and everything, we're gonna continue on. Now first, let's open up the web browser. And for me, um, I already had this loaded, but I need to navigate over to my website, which is novaspirit.com, and I'll leave all the links in the description below. Now we're gonna click on this link, which is Netflix on Raspberry Pi. I have all the stuff here that we need. And let's browse to the bottom. Now first we're going to need to navigate over to this GitHub. So I'm going to right click and open a new tab. Now if you, uh, be, while this is loading, I'm going to show you guys. You see if Netflix actually has this missing component like I was talking about earlier, which is called Wide Vine. And we, this is what we need to get from this GitHub itself. Now you can actually compile your own Chromium build. Now you can see he just updated a couple of days ago uh, to the latest version of 60. But if you check the release, he doesn't have the latest version up yet. But that's okay, we can still actually use this version. So we're gonna go ahead and download this right now. And I'm gonna fast forward this little bit of me downloading it because it's gonna take a couple of minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna keep this file. I accidentally clicked on it twice, so I'm gonna cancel this. All right, before we close out of the browser, which we need to do in a minute, we're gonna go back to this website, which is my website, and we're gonna scroll down and prematurely just copy this string for now because we're gonna need this in the future. Okay? All right, now we can close the browser and we're gonna open Terminal to install this browser that has the wide Vine install um, plugin pre-built in. So I'm gonna cd home pi downloads all right, if you list structure or ls, you would see that one file is there, which is the Chromium browser. Next, we need to sudo dpkg-i Chromium browser. I hit tab just to autocomplete. Now, it's going to take a bit to install, so I'm just going to let this run and fast forward the video a bit. Okay, now that that is done, it's not done yet. Netflix will still not work. The next step we need to do is install something called the user agent. We have to actually lie to Netflix that we are Chrome OS. So to do that, we're going to go to google.com and actually search for user agent switcher. Chrome. And this should be the first one. Okay, I'm going to make this big. And we're going to add this to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, now that it's added to Chrome, we're gonna press the little three dots and go to more tools, extension, and add that little string that we just copied before. So the user agent name, I'm gonna call it Netflix. User agent was that thing that we just copied, so I'm just pasting it now. The group, I'm gonna leave it in Chrome. Replace for the append, and indicator flag, I'm gonna change it to IE. Add, and it's gonna be right here. You see that? It's on Netflix right now. Once that is done, let's close out all these. We don't need it. Okay. I'm gonna open a new tab and head over to netflix.com. At this point, we can actually switch over to our Netflix user agent. For years, Marshall there we have it, guys. The Netflix on our Raspberry Pi. People. It got lonely, so they were always searching for another couple to double date. 
So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, or if you guys got any questions, hit in the comments below. Consider joining my Facebook group because I have a lot of conversations going on over there. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also, remember to hit that little bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, heck till it hurts.